Hello everyone, it's me Molly. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here today. Today's video is going to be about the books I read in November 2021 and my December TBR. Okay, so the first book I read in November 2021 is The Hating Game by Sally Thong. Oh my gosh, I I can't help but I keep smiling when I think of this book. I really love this book so much. And when I just finished reading this book, I I I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I'm so happy right now. I I love this book so much." Just like that. Um anyway, the story is basically about Lucy and Joshua. Um, they're working at the same company, publishing company, and they hate each other. Not not like dislike each other. They really hate each other, and um, and they show their kind of you know feeling of a hostility and aversion every day through a series of games they're playing, like stealing game. So. Um, one day they are up for the same promotion and the tension between Lucy and Joshua like has reached its boiling point and um so basically the this book is a hilarious and sweet and sexy workplace romance comedy yeah um you know there's always like thin and fine line between love and hate this is this book is all about it anyway i love this book so much and as uh as it makes me love and makes my heart so full i want to read it again when i get insecure in something or simply when when i feel depressed yeah i mean you know, um, it's something like um, kind of probably escape from the reality thing, but it still counts, you know? Um, it makes me so happy, so why not? <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, I love this book so much and I highly recommend it. Okay, so the next one is Chronicles of KK and it's a, it's a collection of short stories and tales about Kutukinabal, Malaysia and um, I'm not sure you know that I'm environmental science student in Malaysia but I had lived in Kutukinabal for three years I guess and um, I'm calling it in the United States but like this book really um, like brought me a lot of memories in Kutukinabal and I now really miss KK so much and um yeah, I just miss it so much. Anyway, um, this book is a short story collection about Kodakinabalu, Malaysia, and edited by Ang Lee. Well, um, okay, so it says, Chronicles of KK compiles 20 short stories and visual tales based on Kodakinabalu, KK, the capital city of Sabah, and a Golanite full site of contemporary traditional myth about arisen, love, sex, death, and hairstyles. Um, this might be the first urban contemporary collection about the city, but we hope it won't be the last. Cool. Um, yeah, so... Um, I, I really love some of the stories, like, so much, but... Like, overall, it's just, um... It's not what I really like. I mean, some of the stories are like too intense and um, kind of gross. So, yeah, it's it's just not my thing, you know. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna introduce some of my favorite stories from this book. Yeah. Okay, so the first one is "Don't Eat the Lies." Okay, so the story is basically about the woman detective Susanna who investigates black magic cases and um, like in the story, like black magic, the 
housemaid uses, the woman uses is so disgusting, really gross, but still I love this story. Um, I love how the story unfolds around the Susanna and um, I really love the client, like um, Mrs. Nola Neza. I uh, hope I pronounce it correct. Um, her character, like sassy, is a perfect word to describe her character. I really love her character, yeah. Um, and I truly did enjoy reading the story. Uh, next one is Mommy Sock. Mommy Sock. Um, well, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure, but I hope I pronounce it correct. Um, Anyway, uh, this story is the story blew my mind like, totally, and I had no idea what's gonna happen next. So, and there's one passage that really gets me. Like that passage made me really like feel excited, really excited. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? Something, you know, like that. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Next one. My next favorite is Witch Wars. And I love this story. I really like the story. And um, it's a beautiful, sweet story that makes all hearts melt. I mean, it did make my heart melt. So, yeah, you know? Um, yeah, this is like a cool, sweet story. Yeah, I love it. And uh, this short story collection is... Um, it's not like um, the start with calm stories and it gets more intense and intense as this as it gets to close to the end. It's not like that. Um, it's like, you know, uh, a calm story, intense story, calm story, intense story. It's just like, um, it's just like a roller coaster and um, I think most of this like short story collection is like that, and um, and it's always fun to read something like that, it's like emotional roller coaster stories. Um, yeah, it's fun. Okay, so anyway, these two books are the books I read in November twenty twenty one, and um, next I'm gonna talk about my December TVR. Okay, so the first one is, um, I would leave me if I could, a collection of poetry by Halsey. Halsey is an American singer-songwriter, and I love her music so much, and, um, so I was so excited to read this collection, and, um, yeah, I mean, I love Taylor Swift so much, and, uh, she's the best, she's always my favorite, but Halsey is... It's my second favorite, and I, yeah. So, anyway, look at this. The cover is so stunning. Um, and I, and I already, uh, started reading it, and I'm on the page fifty or something, and um, I love some of them so much. They are so beautiful and emotional, but um, but the others are like um like blah 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 it's uh, kind of dull you know um but still i'm so excited to read this and finish this collection yeah okay so the next one is kafka on the shore by haruki murakami um my friend recommended this book and um she said this is a strange and unique fantasy but there's, there's actually reality in it, and uh, she also said this is a story about, it's, it's like a story about a world between dream and reality. And I've never read um, any Haruki Murakami's book before, so I'm so excited. And I'm, all I know is a, there's a teenage boy run from his father, and um, meets people in his journey that's that's pretty much it and um yeah i'm so excited okay so these two books are on my december tbr list so far and but i also want to read something christmasy you know 
holiday vibe romance comedy book as well so if you have any recommendation uh, please leave a comment below and then let me know I appreciate it uh, well December is gonna be really busy uh, busy studying and looking for internship but I'll try to read as many books as possible yeah and let's see how it goes okay so thank you for watching and thank you so much for being here today I hope you like this video and hope to see you in the next video. Bye!